Hi, my name is Samuel Nathanson. This video provides a high-level introduction to a divide-and-conquer nearest points algorithm, which runs in n log n steps. This video will not cover specific code-level information required to implement this algorithm, but will, rather, provide a high-level structural overview of the algorithm's instruction steps. First, we'll perform the divide in the divide and conquer algorithm by splitting the points into two partitions. We'll start by searching the left partition. We'll continue repeating this divide and conquer process, splitting the partition into two smaller partitions of equal population until we reach a base case. With all divide and conquer algorithms, we'll need a base case. We'll keep dividing into two partitions until a partition has three or less points in it. Once we find a partition with three or less points, return the closest two points in constant time. In an inductive recursion model, this is our base case. Now, we'll go back up to the parent partition and search the right partition, which also happens to have three or less points. Once we find the minimum distance in the right partition, we need to compare the shortest distances from left and right partitions, and we'll call this shortest distance delta. Now, there's a possibility that delta is not the nearest distance in both partitions. There's a possibility that the closest distance is between a point in the left partition and a point in the right partition. A cross-partition shortest distance, if you will. We'll need to find this in linear time in order to achieve the O of n log n runtime complexity. To find a cross-partition shortest distance in linear time, we'll start by creating a 2-delta wide strip around the partition midpoint. For each point within the 2-delta wide strip, compare that point to the next 7 points in the strip, sorted by y-coordinate. I know that this instruction to look at only the next 7 points can seem really perplexing, and it actually only works in two dimensions if you're using a constant 7. But it's been proven that the cross-partition shortest distance can only exist among points within the delta by 2 delta wide rectangle you see on the screen, since only 8 points can exist inside this rectangle when we know that the minimum single partition distance is delta. Let's see this again. Once we find the closest single partition distance delta, form a 2 delta wide vertical strip around the partition midline. Then, for each point in a list of points sorted by y coordinates, compare that point to the subsequent 7 points in the list. This process allows this step of the algorithm to run in a linear time. This algorithm should continue repeating divide-and-conquer steps until it merges the top two level partitions. The minimum distance computed at this top level merge is the minimum distance of all points on the plane. This algorithm is actually not the fastest algorithm to compute the two nearest distances. It's more efficient than the n-squared brute force algorithm, but it's not as efficient as a multi-threaded version of this dynamic divide-and-conquer algorithm. And yet again, there's actually a linear randomized algorithm that can run in linear time. But that said, I hope this video taught you more about the n log n nearest points algorithm. 
If you have any questions, feel free to comment on the YouTube video below.